the smaller version of a grizzly bear whatever you want to call them let's go ahead and get into this video like i don't even know what boys was thinking because at first i really didn't think he was zion boy look here do you look some is like oh body slam get you one Ooh, Hey, what's good, everybody? What's going down? Glad it's better that the vlog live you here for another episode. Hey, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that button one time. I'm not finna play. We're gonna get into tonight's episode right now. Hey, y'all gonna learn to leave Zion Williamson alone. People in the NBA respect his size, his strength, power, physical proudness, whatever it is. The elite athletes respect Baby Shaq, the smaller version of a grizzly bear, whatever you want to call them. Let's go ahead and get into this video. Like, I don't even know what boys was thinking. Because at first, I really didn't think he was Zion. Boy, look here. Do oh. you look at me? Is that Zion? Ooh, body slam. Get you one. Ooh, swing. Ooh, he almost, he almost cleaned him up. Okay, see, now they're trying to rush him. He backing up. Ooh, look here, he'll put him in the ambulance. He'll connect with that one. He really trying to chill. He like, hey, move around. Hey, back up. You see, he backing up. He trying to chill. He not trying to. He not trying to sing. Wait. He trying to chill. He still trying to chill. He still trying to chill. He trying to walk away. Oh, oh, now they didn't piss him off. So now he didn't came back. It's like trying to jump up. See? Yeah, hey, keep on, keep on. Bow. Boop. Oop. Slip him. Boop. Slip him. Oh, he laid him down. Say, man, look here. Say, say, look here. That is a for real. The term grown man is kind of oversaturated right now. Not in this case. Zion was out here punishing boys. From what I've read and based on Zion's demeanor, he seems real chill. He doesn't seem like the aggressive type cat. Anybody that's going to push the envelope. He's still young. He kind of still in this shell. So he just chilling doing him. So whatever this situation happened, it seems as though he was provoked. And it seems like it was four or six people that tried to get at him that didn't phase him at all. That were damn near like gnats on him. That he was just mosquitoes. Bitch, move out the way, move out the way, move out the way. I know he's from North Carolina, so I'm not sure if he was in his hometown. Because, you know, a lot of people say when you go back home, that's when you receive the most hate. This or that. Zion has learned a valuable lesson now that... He just needs to be more smarter about how he moves. I don't know if he necessarily needs security. I don't know if he needs to pick and choose his events. I don't know if he got to have more team entourage. Because what it looked like, it really like he dolo. I really didn't think that he would have a clique of people with him. And he's just the only nigga out there fighting. And ain't no other partners jumping out there. I just can't see that. Because he really just seems like he'll probably dolo by himself. Zion, now you know what change you need to make within your life and how you move and just make sure that you protect yourself. The NBA and the Pelicans have invested millions of dollars in you. They want to make sure that you're healthy, that you're safe, and overall that you avoid as much fuck shit as possible. This is a fuck shit situation. Hopefully, everybody can learn from this and grow from this. And all of these boys that you knocked out, they can get their mind right. And hopefully, they can chew right when it comes time for Thanksgiving and chilling with their families. So, once again, y'all better stop fucking with Zion. Y'all leave him alone. Let him do his thing. Y'all respect that, all that size and all that shit. Y'all know it ain't cap now. Sit y'all ass down now. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Go ahead, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? Hey.